remains of a dragon-like beast found in Australia. Scientists have discovered the bones of a fearsome beast in the Australian outback, describing it as the closest thing we have to a true dragon. But fear not, Thapungaka Shawi was a pterosaur that coexisted with dinosaurs approximately 105 million years ago, according to University of Queensland academics. Its cranium was more than a meter in length and its wingspan was a monstrous 7 meters, roughly twice the width of the current record holder, the wandering albatross. Thapungaka, as depicted in the artist's impression, would have been a terrifying sight in the western Queensland skies. It was essentially a skull with a long neck fastened to a pair of long wings, said Tim Richards, a PhD candidate at the University of Queensland who conducted the investigation. This creature would have been pretty vicious, it would have cast a vast shadow over some whimpering small dinosaur that would not have heard it until it was too late. The gigantic skull contained approximately 40 teeth and a massive bone crest on the lower jaw. Scientists presume it had one on top as well, but it perished to the ravages of time. It's rather remarkable that fossils of these animals remain at all, Richard said, pointing out that the bones were hollow and extremely thin, well adapted to flight. Pterosaurs developed independently of dinosaurs. According to scientists, they were wiped out by the same asteroid that took out all other dinosaurs. To be clear, it was not a bird or even a bat, Richard stated. Pterosaurs were a successful and diversified group of reptiles, the first backboned animals to attempt powered flight. Thapungaka's name was derived from words from the extinct language of the Wanamara Nation, an indigenous people who lived in the area where the fossil was discovered. It translates as, Shah's spear mouth, about the resident who discovered it in 2011, Len Shaw.